major bugs are plaguing the flight right now as they normally do, but which ones are going to be blocking the release of ODST and the update to Halo 3? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out more people getting a chance to see this video so they can stay up to date with everything going on in Halo. So I'm sure many of you know ODST flighting has begun. It will run until the 24th of August at 10 a.m. That's when it will end. I've had some time to jump in and play this and overall my experience has been really great. The new season content is fun. It really adds a lot to Halo 3. Playing firefight matchmaking is a ton of fun. I've had a chance to play out the new hit detection when it comes to Halo 3. That turns out to be really great as well. But there are some issues plaguing this flight right now. And there's some major issues that definitely need to be resolved before the Halo Halo 3 update and the release of ODST. So in this video, we're gonna give you all those major bugs that we need to know about. So let's start globally with ODST. So the global gameplay issues, there are seven of these. One of them is gonna be the suicide grunt plasma grenades do not render or play audio as intended on dedicated servers. Single shot weapon recoil is stronger for the Magnum and Carbine. The character model is in T-Pose for a short time when moving the cursor over the positions of titles. Lightning flickers in the opening cutscene for Coastal Highway on unlimited frame rates. Grenades thrown by clients do not travel as far in Firefight. Players are unable to communicate using in-game voice and for 7 enemy animations are desynced in ODST Firefight. Now that first one, I definitely have experienced quite a few times with the suicide grunts, plasma grenades, not rendering or playing any audio. I have a clip of it showing you right here, but not just the suicide grunts. I think just sometimes plasma grenades in general don't show up in Firefight. As you can see in the clip, the first part, you can see some grenades, explosions that would happen. You just don't see them or hear them. They just look like the grunts are just flying up in the air. And then a grunt, suicide grunt comes up right behind us and blows us up, I didn't realize how that happened because I had no visual or, or audio cues. And I definitely noticed it also about the Magnum recoil being way higher than I remember. I remember when I was shooting this, I'm like, God, there's a lot of recoil on this gun for a Halo game. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's because it's actually a bug. I'm sure it probably has something to do with playing on unlimited frames or just playing on anything above 30 frames as a lot of times that kind of stuff gets tied to the frame rate as these games previously have been. Also, the grenades are traveling as far if you're throwing as a client. Basically, if you're playing on a dedicated server sometimes your grenades will just kind of just be limp tossed forward which i remember the grenade arcs being quite different in odst just because you're a smaller character but um not so short as they are playing out right now found my times playing this i'm like i don't remember the grenades only, only able to be thrown like five feet ahead of me so that definitely needs to get fixed before the release of the game because that's just gameplay impact and stuff like the the suicide grunts the extra uh, recoil on the weapons themselves and also just may not be able to throw your grenades properly. There are some global campaign issues for Xbox and PC but you know, there hasn't really much that really has gameplay impact so we'll just kind of skip over that. Uh, PC known issues for ODST are very specific like uh, for the gameplay aspect of it, it's calling is present on character's body when using a high field of view unable to scroll the visor database map diagonally when using keyboard and mouse. When using mouse wheel controls in the visor, they are inverted. Rarely, ODST co-op is unable to connect users for extended periods of time. The emblem on the armor is chosen randomly in ODST Firefight. For PC UI, there is an issue when it comes to putting your crosshairs into center that it actually shows the reticle as a bit of like an oblong kind of shape, not actually exactly a circle for some reason. So that definitely needs to be fixed. Uh, they also have some audio issues saying the game music volume slider also affects the volume of sound effects. Uh, effect audio are missing for the right speaker in stereo for ODST campaign cinematics. As stated earlier, this is also on Xbox. The only Xbox issue is that people are having issues downloading the flight themselves. Now there are some multiplayer bugs for Halo 3 coming in as well. So let's go over these. For these are global, these are happening on PC and on Xbox. There are six major issues with this. One being in Halo 3 PvP, the auto turret equipment targets all users indiscriminately 
once placed, including the user and their teammates. On Microsoft Windows 7 and 8.1, the application will soft lock when loading out of Halo 3 gameplay if the auto device had been changed during the game session. Season 3 weapon skins and visor colors for Halo 3 revert to default upon death. Season 3 weapon skins for Halo 3 revert to default weapon skins while in active camouflage. Number 5 here, weapon textures pop when first spawning into a Halo multiplayer match. And lastly, a clear and white texture is apparent in the visor of the character in game when selecting any color for the security helmet. After going through that list, you can see that most of these are rather cosmetic kind of issues. Nothing that's directly gameplay affecting besides that auto turret. That definitely does need to be fixed because you don't need uh, indiscriminate audio turrets when you're laying one down for your team and then you end up just getting all getting wiped because the AI decided to go haywire on you. But I've definitely experienced the visor color changes and some of the other graphical issues that they mentioned with Halo 3. I'm sure those will get fixed out as well as we've seen these previously and they do get fixed out. For ODSC there definitely are some primary issues that definitely need to be resolved before the release of the game. I still will say that my overall experience with ODST on PC has been great. The unlimited frames work out super world just because you know they work on the same exact engine as Halo 3. Also that uh, the smoothness of the mouse and keyboard feels great. The matchmaking works rather well. Uh, that's my only issue I really came across was definitely the uh, grunt plasma grenades not showing up in the game. So as long as 343 can knock out some of these bugs and get this game released for us guys, I'm very really excited about it. So we can probably get a nice speculation of when can we expect this game to be released onto the Xbox and PC as well. Well, this flight is gonna be running until August 24th uh, for right now. Sometimes these do get extended as well as in the previous flights have been as well. Uh, though generally whenever these flights end, we have about two weeks after the flight to work out some of the extra bugs that are found by the community and then the game releases. So that would put us either at a two week release of September 8th and also a three week release of September 15th. Those are both Tuesdays as every MCC game has released on Tuesday. So that would be my expected dates and that would fall in line with what was previously advertised about ODST coming to PC that they said it was gonna be later this summer. The end of summer happens in September. So this would make a lot of sense. Well, let me know in the comment section, have you guys tried out the flights? Have you guys played around with it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you excited about ODST? ODST matchmaking for Firefight? I certainly am. I played it. It's a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it for sure. So if you guys want to stay updated with all the news and information happening with Halo like MCC and Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe guys. If you missed any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my video news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.